Okay, today I'm going to show you how I clean out my fish bowl. If you haven't done this before, it can be kind of gross, but it's actually necessary for the health of your fish. They live in a static environment without any kind of aeration in their water, so it needs to be changed out about once a week. This is my daughter's fancy goldfish, and for some reason she named him Leaf, but he's been in here for about a week and we need to clean out his water. What you need to do when you clean out his water, first, night prior, take out a... Uh, we use a Pyrex bowl because we can uh, run it through the dishwasher. Fill that full of water and let it sit overnight. What that does is let the water get ambient to be the same temperature of that. So when I capture him via my net, put him in there, it won't be a shock to his little system. We also need a colander because we're going to empty that water, rinse it all out with the gravel, and I'll show you that. This will keep the gravel from getting down the drain. We don't want to clog our drain with that. Also, another thing to do. I do it in the kitchen sink, I guess you could do it in the utility sink too, but I do it in the non-in-sink aerator, in the non-garbage disposal side. Uh, you don't want those little pebbles to inadvertently get down into the garbage disposal and uh, uh, jam up the mechanism. So without much further ado, I'll start showing you how I clean out the fish. As bowl. I said earlier, you have your water that you set up the night prior, and you just need to capture your fish with the uh, little fish net. Here you go, Leaf. Got him. Quickly move him over. And he's good. He's going to live here for the next several hours. Okay, we'll wash so you this. dirty fish water. And this is dirty fish water. The fish does his business in here. It's full of, you know, uh, body waste from the fish. So it's kind of gross, but it's got to be done if you want to keep this kind of pet. I just dump it in, start the water going. And a lot of times, I'll put my hand in there with fresh water running in there and move the gravel around. Keep dumping out, this gets the fish's waste out of it. And you can smell it when you do it. Once a week seems to work pretty good for us. I keep agitating the gravel to get the fish waste out of the gravel. It'll float up through the top and down the sides and down through the drain. You can wear rubber gloves if you need to, if you like it. Now I'm going to put our fish cleaning strainer. You can get these things for a dollar at the dollar store. It's a plastic strainer. Dump the gravel in there. And let that get cleaned out good. So for us, it's just a series of rinsing. I don't use any chemicals. And the, the goldfish is a hardy fish, so I don't actually use any of that store-bought sliming agent that you can do to, to uh, prepare your water. I guess you could if you had hard, hard water or real harsh water. Rinsing all the gravel. Use my sponge here and scrub the inside with the uh, scratchy side. If you do this every week, we don't build up any kind of a gross slime or anything, but it's nice to scrub it anyway. Okay, I've let this rinse for a while. I'm not getting any bubbles or anything anymore. I just rinsed the gravel one last time with my strainer, and I added the gravel back into the, uh, the bowl. Now we'll fill it up, not all the way. And I'm going to stir it up and let it sit to see if I see any kind of floating sediment. And I don't, I just see air bubbles from the uh, agitated water. About halfway full. I'm going to add the plant back that we cleaned. Level the water up, add the plant. And now we'll just add it about, I don't know, halfway to two thirds full of water, tap water. Now remember. 
remember, the fish is over here in this room temperature water. He'll be there, well now it's about noon on a Sunday. We'll probably leave him in there a good three or four hours until this water has had a chance to get to room temperature. And then we'll just dump them in and uh, make sure we run that Pyrex bowl through a dishwasher. That this smells much fresher. After about a week, you can definitely smell the fish bowl. So it's, it's nice because they're simple because you don't have all the pumps and all the wires and electricity. And it's just a classic simple child's pet. But you don't want them stinking up the house. So he's clean. We'll wash the rags. And I'll comb it or use some cleaner on the sink to get everything done. But now it's just a waiting game. We'll wait a couple hours and push the fish, or pour the fish back in his new clean house. So that's how you clean a fish bowl. Uh, Leaf, our little fancy goldfish, is now about two years old. We've been doing this every week and it seems to agree with him. Thanks for watching. Okay everybody, it's been a couple hours. The fish is now ready to go back into his fish bowl. This has been sitting for about three hours, so it's back to room temperature, same temperature as this. So now we just dump Can I do leaf. With you? you want to watch, Penny? Watch out, make sure you're not in the video. Can I do with you? Sure, you can. And this is Maddie's fish. His name is Leaf. No, Flower. Flower? I've been calling him Leaf. Maddie, I, I, it's too hot for you actually, so watch your hand. We just dump him in. And there he goes. And Flower is in a brand new clean aquarium. Thanks for your help. Daddy, I love fishes. That's good. And I love those unexpected cameos. Now all you have to do is disinfect uh, the sink.